Welcome to the third installment of Cast Iron Cooking. Today we'll, we will be making a chicken curry with jasmine rice. All right, let's get into it. So to start, we're gonna need to make the curry sauce. And to do that, you take peanut oil and butter, put it in a skillet, and start heating it. What you're gonna to wanna to do next is add the onion to the skillet and cook it until it's about brown, light dark brown. Doesn't have to be too cooked, but don't want it to be raw either. Okay, so the next step, you're going to want to add about a tablespoon of minced ginger root to the onion, and about two cloves of garlic. Next step would be to take a mixture of onion and other things, put it in the food processor, and well, process it. Next step would be to take the onion mixture, mix it with a few spices, the exact amount for each. I'll put in the description of the video, but combine them in there. Heat until it's like a, the consistency of a paste. Next up, you take a puree of two tomatoes, two chili peppers, and some cilantro that you put in the food processor. Then add it to the spices. Then start heating it up a little bit. Whoops. Once some of the moisture from the sauce starts to cook, you add half a cup of yogurt, plain non-Greek. Whole milk is good yogurt. And you gotta keep stirring it. Don't let it sit because then it'll start curdling and you don't want that. Next step is to take what you just cooked, put it back in the food processor, and puree it, puree it one more time. <coughs> Alrighty then, now that the sauce is done, you're going to want to start up on the actual chicken and vegetables. You're going to want to take some olive oil, put it in the Dutch oven, just a little bit. Preheat a tiny bit. Once it starts to get warm, add all your chicken, about two chicken breasts, cut up into decently sized. And once it's cooked, you're going to want to add the vegetables.
Once the chicken is about almost done, it's time to add the vegetables. You're going to want to chop up about three medium-sized potatoes, three carrots, and one green bell pepper. Add that right in with the chicken, and well, start cooking until potatoes start. Once things start to get a little soft, then you add the sauce. I may know what you're thinking. Adam, you can't possibly cook rice in a Dutch oven. Well, guess what? You're dumb, you can. But for the sake of time, I will be using non-cast iron cookware because, you know, I only have one Dutch oven that I can use on a stove. But you can do it. I know it's cheating, but oh well. Start on the rice. This is specified towards jasmine rice. Use three cups of water, two tablespoons of butter, and a bit of salt. Get that going to a boil, then we'll move on to the next step. Now, you're gonna wanna add the sauce to the vegetables and meat. Make sure this doesn't fall out again. Put it right in. Once the rice water starts to boil, add about two cups of rice, reduce the heat, let simmer for 10 minutes. Once it's all done, as well as the rice, ready to eat. Uh, comment what recipe you'd like to see in the next video, and be sure to like and subscribe if you think cast iron is the superior cookware. And remember, ash is a garnish.